Jen next had filed an RTI with the Office of Loka Yukta seeking information with regard to the assets and liability statement uh, filed by the public functionaries like MLA's ministers for the financial year ending 2014 and 15. Now we have received an interesting reply from the Office of Loka Yukta which has been made redundant by the ruling Bharatiya Party government in the state. Information has been denied under the section 81E and 81J. Now what are these sections of RTI Act? It is clearly says that the information has been denied under the as personal information. Now there is a case in the Supreme Court judgment uh, with regards to Union of India versus ADR in appeal civil number 2001 that those who want to serve the people are termed as public servant and definition of public servant has been clearly stated in the Corruption Act under the 2C statement. Now the office of Lo Loka Yukta in Goa has been totally frozen, has been made redundant by the Bharatiya Janata Party government. They do not want to give the information and make it public. Probably the scams like Lusophonia scam, the Ifi Mega scam, the beach cleaning contract scam, probably due to these scams, the assets and might have increased or might have sold to a such level that the BJP MLAs and ministers do not want to share the information and probably the office of Loka Yukta is shielding them. Denying, denying the information to the public, also hiding the information to the public. We would come to know the truth during the 2017 assembly elections when the nominations will be filed by the MLAs and the ministers and that time we would see the graph which goes up in the assets and liability section.